Combat in upfront is not just about closing distance and shooting. Your forces can also infiltrate and conduct close combat with the enemy. Infiltration can be performed when an enemy group is at relative range 5. You may commit one or more unpinned soldiers to that effort. Soldiers in wire or a minefield may not attempt infiltration. A soldier attempting infiltration must either pass a morale check or they may play a movement card. A Ford movement card is required if a soldier is in a stream. Otherwise, a Ford check will have to be made. Two movement cards are required for infiltration to occur from marsh terrain. If you decide on a morale check, you will have to draw a random number card or RNC. The color of the RNC will not apply for this morale check. If the RNC is less than the current morale of the soldier, then he passes. If it is equal to or greater than their morale, the soldier fails to infiltrate and is pinned. Once the movement card has been played or the morale check passed, the next step is to see if the infiltration was successful. Draw an RPC, look at the columns on the bottom row, and find the one that matches the number of unpinned soldiers of the enemy group. If the number in the column is red, the infiltration succeeds. If it is black, the infiltration fails. Keep in mind that there are modifiers which may shift the column that is to be checked. A one column shift to the left occurs for every concealment card the infiltrator plays or if the infiltration is coming from the woods. A two column shift to the left if the infiltration is coming from brush or smoke. A one column shift to the right occurs when the infiltration comes from a hill, open ground, or goes into a pillbox. A two column shift to the right occurs when soldiers of the infiltrating or defending groups are moving or if the enemy group is currently infiltrated. If the infiltration is successful, the first option for the soldier is to double his firepower, which will lose his infiltration status. Infiltration status may also be lost if the soldier is pinned, his group moves, or if the enemy group plays a terrain card at relative range 4 or moves to relative range 3. Another option is to enter close combat. You draw an RPC to determine which enemy soldier will be engaged in close combat. Soldiers have a close combat value or CCV stated on their cards. Keep in mind that if a soldier changes their weapon it will change their CCV. Once the pairing has been made the defender may play a single concealment card to lower the attacker's CCV. Conversely, the attacker may play a single concealment card to lower the defender's CCV. At this point, both the attacker and defender draw an RNC, which is added to their CCC value. Whichever soldier has the lower CCV value dies in close combat. If the result is a tie, both soldiers are killed. If the attacker wins, he loses his infiltration status unless he prevailed by three or more. In addition, whoever won the close combat may keep the weapon of the soldier who was killed. Keep in mind that multiple attackers may all attack the same defender, and crewed members of a weapon can defend together. If the last soldier of a group that has been infiltrated has been killed, the terrain that the soldier occupied along with any entrenchments that were dug now belong to the opposing group. All movement cards that were in play for the now destroyed group are discarded. The Russians offer an interesting take on close combat. If a pinned Russian soldier at relative range 5 suffers a panic attack, he goes berserk instead. A berserk soldier automatically enters close combat without having to infiltrate at the start of his turn regardless if his group was not allowed to enter close combat. There is no morale check or infiltration attempt needed and it does not cost the group their action for the turn. Draw an RPC to determine which opposing soldier he engages. He attacks using his pinned CCV. If victorious, he rallies and is no longer pinned. If the soldier who went berserk crewed a weapon, he leaves the weapon behind and attacks unarmed. If he wins, he stays unarmed until paying an action to draw a black RNC. Keep in mind that soldiers who crew an infantry gun are not subject to going berserk. If the opposing group moved away from relative range 5 after the soldier went berserk, but before the following game turn, then the berserk soldier rallies instead and probably hurls some invectives at the retreating soldiers. 
up front allows you to close with enemy soldiers, infiltrate their groups, and conduct hand-to-hand -hand or close combat to eliminate them from the field. <laughs>